Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. This is section 9.3, matrix operations. We have seen that uh, a rectangular array of numbers is called a matrix. We use capital letters to denote matrices. So we say matrix A and we write capital A. Lowercase letters are used for the elements of the matrix. So we write elements A, I, J. We read it like this. An element in the matrix is called A, I, J. I means this element is in row I and J column J. So for example, when we write A32, we mean this is the element of the matrix A. This is small a, so the matrix will be denoted by capital A. So this is the element in the matrix A in the third row, second column. In the third row, second column. The order of the matrix is M by N, the number of rows times the number of columns. So we say, for example, what is the order of this matrix A? How many rows? Two rows. How many columns? Three columns. So this matrix is two by three. We write it like this. If M equals N, if the number of rows is equal to the number of columns, we call the matrix a square matrix. Can you identify A23? Go to the second row, third column. So A23 is negative 1 over 5. What about A12? First row, second column. So A12 is 2. What is the order of this matrix? Three rows, two columns, so three by two. A, one, two is negative two. A, three, one is one. Give the order of this matrix. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So the order is three by four. Identify A32. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. A32 is half. A23. Second row, third column, negative 6. Now, equality of matrices. Two matrices are equal. If and only if they have the same order, so this is the first condition, they must have the same order, and corresponding elements are equal. Corresponding elements means Aij equals Bij for all i and j. i from 1 to m, so the number of rows is m, and j from 1 to n, so the number of columns is n, and the order of the two matrices is M by N. So if A and B are equal, then X must be equal to 1. Y plus 1 should be equal to 5. So Y is 4. And Z should be equal to 3. And 6, 6 are equal. Find values for the variables so that the matrices are equal. Here, if the matrices are equal, then x should be equal to 4, 2y should equal to 12, then y should be 6, and z is 3. How to add and subtract matrices? Well, first, they have to be of the same order. Matrices have the same order. If they have the same order, we can add and subtract them. If they do not have the same order, we cannot. So what to do? 
the corresponding elements or the elements in corresponding positions you add them so aij plus bij so for example here you add one with negative one you get zero negative two plus six four three plus zero three five plus four nine also the subtraction one minus negative one two negative two minus six negative eight three minus zero five minus four so you sub you subtract the elements in the corresponding positions if the two matrices have different orders then the sum or difference is undefined for example this is a matrix a two by two order two by two this is three by two so these matrices cannot be added or subtracted because they have different order well to add these two matrices they have the same order so i just add zero plus negative two 5 plus 3, 5 plus 3, negative 2 plus 7, 6 plus minus 9, negative 8 plus 6. Subtract, I subtract the elements in corresponding positions. Negative 6 minus minus 5, 7 minus 6, 2 minus 0, negative 3 minus minus 4. Okay, so negative 3 plus 4, it would be 1. Perform the indicated operations. Negative 4 plus 6, 3 minus 3, 7 plus 2, minus 6, minus 4 is negative 10. Same order, so we can subtract them. 5 minus minus 4, 4 minus 8, negative 3 minus 6, 7 minus 0, 0 minus minus 5, 1 minus 3. A matrix whose elements are all zeros is called a zero matrix. So for example, this is a zero matrix of order two by two. If you add the zero matrix with any matrix, you get the same A. A plus zero will be A. These are two matrices. So the zero matrix is called the additive identity the additive identity. If you add it to any matrix, it doesn't change. A plus zero is A. When we have the additive identity, which is the zero matrix, we can talk about the additive inverse of A. The additive inverse of A is the matrix negative A. So you multiply A by negative one, all the elements. So for example, this is A, and negative A would be changing all the signs so 5, negative 2, negative 3, this is negative A. If you add the two matrices, you will get the zero matrix or the additive identity. These are some properties of matrix addition. Adding two matrices is commutative, associative. Adding to zero will give you A. Adding inverses will give you zero, which is the additive identity. The second or the third operation would be scalar multiplication. Scalar means real number. Six is a scalar, okay, real number. So how to multiply a matrix by a number? This is a matrix multiplied by a scalar, which is four, for example. You multiply four by each element of the matrix. This is how we multiply matrix by a scalar. So C times matrix A, C is a number scalar. You multiply C by all the elements of the matrix A. So C A will be called a scalar multiple of A. So this is B, how to find negative five B, multiply each element by negative five. So negative five times two, negative 10, negative five times negative three, 15, negative 5 times 5, and negative 5 times negative 6. But part B, find 2A plus 3B. So let me find 2A, multiply A by 2. 
So when you get f2, 8, 6, and 0, and plus 3b, so multiply b by 3. So 6, negative 9, 15, and negative 18, multiplying by 3. And now add these two matrices. So negative 2 plus 6 is 4, 8 minus 1 is negative 1, 6 plus 15 is 21, and here I have negative 18. Negative 6b would be 6, 12, negative 48, and negative 30. b would be 3a would be negative 12, 3, 9, 0. Plus 2b would be negative 2, negative 4, 16, 10. And when you add them, negative 14, negative 1, 25, and 10. Some properties of scalar multiplication. If you're multiplying A by two scalars, then you can do it like this or like this. 1 times A is A. C times A plus B, you can distribute. Distributive property can distribute scalar two matrices or two scalars by the same matrix. And this is a very nice example or discovery. This is a matrix A, this is a matrix B. C is 4, D is 2. Use these scalars and matrices to verify all of these properties. So for example, to verify 3, find A plus B multiply by c this is the left hand side and for the right hand side multiply a by c which is 4 then multiply b by c which is 4 add them the right hand side should be equal to the left hand side so this is a very nice exercise for you to check the properties uh, i leave this for you okay you can do it. This is also easily. We did a lot of exercises like it. Add, subtract, minus 4b, find 3a plus 2b. Also for this matrix, okay. Uh, also for this matrix, same exactly. You do what we uh, mentioned, the steps adding, multiplying by scalar. Let us solve matrix equations. Here, X, A, B are all matrices. So X is a matrix. Solve for X. X is a matrix. This is A, this is B. Solve this equation for X. Find the value of X. Well, 2X plus A equals B. So what I can do, I can add negative A to both sides. So I can write it. 2x plus a plus negative a. So this would be b plus negative a, adding negative a to both sides. But a plus negative a will give you the zero matrix. But 2x plus zero, the zero matrix, will give you 2x. Then if you want to find x, it is half times b plus negative a. So this is how to solve this equation for x. So it would be a half times. I have b, b is negative 6, 5, 9, 1, plus negative a. Negative a would be negative 1, 5, 0, and negative 2. So it would be half times the matrix. Now I add these two matrices, negative 6 plus minus 1, 5 plus 5, 9 plus 0, 1 plus negative 2. And now I multiply this matrix by half, and I get the matrix X. So negative 7 over 2, 9 over 2, 10 over 2 is 5, 
and this is negative half. So this is the solution of this equation. This is the matrix X. Similarly here, okay, if you do the same steps, you will find that the X is B plus negative A multiplied by one over three. So do the same, write B plus negative A and find the value of X. Here, the same, X here would be half times B plus negative A, okay? Here, 4A plus 3B equals negative 2X. So how to find X? You just divide by 1 over negative 2. So, 4A plus 3B. Multiply A by 4 and add to 3B. And then multiply this matrix by 1 over negative to you get the matrix X. I will stop here and I will continue this section in another uh, video.